The Distant Spring is probably my least favorite area in Pikmin 1, but the sole fact is it's just be me being petty. Whenever I try to beat this game as fast as I can, this stage always takes me at a bare minimum of three days. And not even three full days, more like two and a half days. Okay, let's get out some Pikmin. Okay, I'm gonna leave 35 behind. Actually, that's a lie. They take you with me, because we got yellow Wallywogs. And those dangerous little wogs. Remember, these things are jerks. They are terrible to fight against. They can do so much damage. Okay, as we go over here, we're going to find shear grubs, flying guys, and if we can get them into the water, they will start to take damage. And if you can keep them in the water, or have them flying over the water, they will eventually die because there's no place for them to land. So honestly, the sh shear grubs here are not the... What? What? How? This, this game at times, I swear, how? Okay, you go there. You can start building on that bridge, because there's a bunch of bridges in this stage. To be built and destroyed and whatnot. Okay, just go up there. Because we have a small little puzzle. We throw them up there, and now we're going to tell them to go all around all of this. They won't fall into the back, as far as I ever know. So, we essentially to find them to come over this way, and then I'm going to order them to go up there. And then, when they're all there, I disband them so that they can go and collect the repair type bolt. The robotic marble can fix just about anything in the ship that's broken. That's good because I get terribly bored fixing little glitches. Okay, it's only 20. I thought it was like 35 for some reason. Like, a 35 minimum. Okay, so while they bring that one back, let me come down here and grab myself two more little blues. Because this place, for being one of the last places in the game, is not going to be very friendly. We're going to find... Powerful creatures such as the yellow wally wogs, as well as the bull bears. Not bull bulbs, bull bears. Repair pipe bolt. This looks like an ordinary bolt, but it's actually a repair robot. I have now recovered 20 out of 30. Okay, this guy, he's not too much of an issue on his own. The big issue is that he can throw, not throw, but blow your Pikmin away. So, he can do a couple of things. One, he will turn leaf Pikmin into, like, he can turn flower Pikmin into leaf Pikmin. Or he can blow your your Pikmin straight into, like, an enemy if you're not paying attention, or to just be a real annoyance. So, you definitely want to get rid of him. In his death, he will always drop the same thing, a bunch of those different items. Now, I want to go over this way. For here we have two bridges. And I want to say this one's the shorter bridge, so I don't need as many Pikmin on that one. However, we got a Wallywog. And I don't trust myself trying to swarm this guy, so instead... I'm just gonna throw Pikmin onto him. I say it, I then start to swarm. Oh shoot! Swooping stitch bug. Okay, the guy will not kill Pikmin, but he will pick them up and he can be a tad annoying because he will just throw them into the ground. Oh my god, this was a bad spot. Now, the biggest annoyance is that he can get things like yellow Pikmin and throw them into the water. 
So you would have to be careful about something like that happening. And it would essentially mean that, well, you just lost Pikmin. Unless you can get it to land fast enough. Oh my god. That's just being a real jerk. I'm annoyed that he got away, most of all. Okay, I'm gonna bring these guys over to me. Well, we lost one. We always lose one. So have him come to me. Okay. Those guys finished what they were doing. So now, these guys can go over here and stop building that bridge. I said you can come over here and stop building the bridge. Okay. I do have to be a little bit careful. As I said before, if they go under the bridge, they can die. And they get essentially pushed under the ground. So be careful about that. And this is why you need a lot of blue Pikmin. If you haven't noticed, there's a lot of water. And this is the bull bear I was talking about. They are big. They are scary. They are mean. And oh god, one of them woke up. My guys must have accidentally walked into him when they were carrying something back that they should not have been. But just like the other ones, they will go to bed at night, so as long as you can... And uh, uh, night. They will go back to bed if you wake them up. It will just take a little bit of time, walk back, and then go... Rah! And then, as you see right now, they go back to bed. Now, these guys have a lot more health. I would not suggest fighting them with anything other than reds. A full team of reds, if you could. Now, I just want to get this thing taken care of... So I'm just bringing these guys out here to help reinforce the army before... Okay, those guys are banging their heads, and I really appreciate the effort, but they weren't even near the, like, structure, and they were banging their heads. So that might actually do it. And if we go over here, we find the... Gluon drive using the quick, quick, the quark binding metamorph, metamorphical properties of the glutons. This device, well, it's very scientific and I don't fully understand it myself, but it was very expensive. 50. Okay, so 50 is the bare number of Pikmin, bare minimum of Pikmin that you're going to need. I want to say this is like the heaviest item in the entire game. Okay, so we will be a little bit worried, as I do... Who chose to grab that? Not me! Oh no! So, come here! There's one way of trying to deal with these guys, it's just all them off being fake! And it does walk, as long as you can just keep them going. Although they're right at the base! No! My blues! Bop, bop, bop. There we go. We got the top part of our ship now put back to get in. I have no idea how it walks, but it means the dolphin will be able to lift off with its characteristic roar. Okay, boys, back in the ship! Okay, so the whole bomb rushing strategy still works with these guys. It's just, again, these guys have a lot more health. So they can be a bit harder to take down with normal Pikmin. Which is why you go for reds. And there we go. 
Remember that is two, and there was a third one. And it's not that way. It's that first bridge we built, and one died. I don't even know how he died. Unless the bull barrier fell on top of him and he fell under the ground. Which I want to say can happen. Because again, no offense, this game can be very stupid with his logic at times. Now. Nope. Good job, men. Okay. You have done your part. Now to take this. My massage machine! Put this right down the lower back area and let it do its work. I can't wait until I get this installed again as my lower lumbar region has been paining me ever since the crash. Ah, <sighs> sweet relief. There we go. Ah, yeah, stop your belly aching. Okay, that thing. We actually saw one of those back at the other locations. But that is a candy pop bud. I think I called the pellet posies that before. Uh, the way that works is that you throw Pikmin into that, and it will convert Pikmin of one kind into another kind, or the same kind to the same kind. Basically, if you throw a... if I threw the red guys into the blue, it would turn a red Pikmin into a blue Pikmin. However, they start back off at their leaf stage. So if you happen to throw in a flower Pikmin, out comes a leaf Pikmin of a different color. So you can lose out. Now, not so much lose out, but you do have to, like, restart. I'm a Santa massage machine. I've been walking so much lately, I'm really looking forward to using this. I am almost 100% sure that's one of the optional ones. There's that soup bug again. I guess he got healed up. Get over here! Unless there's two of them. Very well could be. There you are. Okay, so I think for the most part we're done. We've done all that we can really do right now. So all I want to do is just get some yellows and blow up what we can blow up. I mean, we could also get out more. I'm gonna get 20. I'm gonna get 20 yellows and the rest are gonna be blue. Because there is stuff that the blue guys can do and I guess I could even have them doing stuff before, but I was more focused on other things at the moment. I also keep going the wrong way. Now, apparently the blue Pikmin can act as lifeguards. If they see... If they are inactive and see a Pikmin drowning, they'll try to throw them onto dry land. I've seen it happen once or twice, but nothing, like... Too extravagant. Like, nothing I can be like, okay, it, this is how it works. Moo! Okay, I think they got all the bomb rocks they can get their hands on. And as far as I know, because this is like the only location I can remember that actually has bomb rocks easily available, we don't have enough bomb rocks to actually take care of everything. So we will be short on bomb rocks. Unless there's another location, blah 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 blah. I'm pretty sure I'm also leaving a guy behind, but eh. I think we need six on this wall. Yeah, six. Okay, we got another yellow, we got another two yellows. Again, you want to be careful because, as far as I can tell, there is no limit to how many can be destroyed from this fall.
Oh, there's the spirit finally leaving its body. Okay, so all my Pikmin are more or less safe. Sorry guys, but I need you to come with me. I don't have time to be wasting on ya. Stop it! Crud, 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 crud! Oh, I'm not gonna get to him in time. No! Oh no! <laughs> no! I'm a terrible Pikmin, Pikmin leader. Dang it! These stars oh, because the other guys. Ah, oh, the other guys are wasting their goddamn time. Therefore, wasting mine by getting the grass. Ah! Oh, dang it! It was like one second off. Oh, that's like so many Pikmin. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Oh. Ah, oh, the Pikmin that I left that did not get back to the island all vanished overnight. It may, well, it may well be that they've fallen prey to the planet's sexual creatures. An ugly thought, perhaps that is why they follow me to the atmosphere. I'm starting to grasp the cycle on this planet. Ah! Oh, 72! 72 left behind because of the stupid yellows! Getting my ah! Oh, they had to keep pulling up the grass! I saved five and wasted the lives of 70! Oh! 